If you're a woman in your 30s and 40s and you're noticing some weight gain, you may be wondering what you can do to mitigate that. And in particular, you may be wondering what foods you should or maybe shouldn't be eating to lose weight right now. Should you be vegan? Should you go keto? And should you be eating protein? And if you should be eating protein, how much should you be eating? These are all great questions and we'll address all of them today. I do wanna note that a lot of conversations we have around weight loss end up talking about calorie counting and calorie restricting as the best way to do it. And we'll talk in a minute about why I don't believe that's the best approach and what I think you should be focusing on instead. Hi, I'm Kelsey Ale. I'm a certified functional nutritionist. I'm a restorative wellness practitioner and I'm the founder of Audrey. We're a collective that helps women in their 30s and 40s learn how to age well and love doing it. So if that sounds interesting or relevant to you, make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video. So I wanna to touch on the fact that weight gain in your 30s and 40s is totally common, if not ubiquitous, meaning it happens to pretty much all of us to some degree. And this is because of a couple of different reasons. First, we have the hormonal shifts that are happening in our bodies around this time. And these shifts can slow down our metabolism and make weight gain easier. And second, as these hormone changes are happening, they're making us more sensitive to carbs and to sugar, which can make certain foods cause us to gain more weight than we used to when we would eat them in the past. So you're not alone and nothing is wrong with you. I wanna reassure you of that. You may just want to start to make some changes in your diet and your lifestyle to move towards your goals. The first thing you can do to move toward your weight loss goals is assess what you're eating. I think when it comes to finding the right diet for weight loss, it can feel kind of confusing and like there's a lot to consider. Like we said earlier, should you go vegan? Should you go keto? Should you focus on eating protein? All of these questions are valid and what it comes down to is what I just mentioned about our bodies becoming more sensitive to carbs and sugar as we get older as women. With this in mind, it becomes super important to start to adjust your diet to include more complex and unprocessed carbs, healthy fats, and yes, good amounts of quality protein. For most of us, this means not going vegan and probably not going keto. So we need quality proteins to help jumpstart our metabolism and I'll explain how protein does this. Eating adequate amounts of protein is crucial for maintaining a healthy weight because protein helps us build and maintain muscle mass. Having higher amounts of lean muscle is key to stoking your metabolism and losing weight safely and sustainably. In fact, several studies showed that traditional weight loss methods of eating less and moving more can end up having a negative effect on the amount of muscle we have and we end up losing both body fat and muscle with those types of approaches. But eating adequate amounts of protein can help ensure that you lose weight without having to necessarily lose muscle. To quote one paper, several clinical trials have found that consuming more protein than the recommended dietary allowance not only reduces body weight, but also enhances body composition by decreasing fat mass while preserving fat-free mass in both low calorie and standard calorie diets. The paper goes on to say that fairly long-term clinical trials of six to 12 months reported that a high protein diet provides weight loss effects and can prevent weight regain after weight loss. So basically calorie restriction is unnecessary as long as you're getting adequate to high amounts of protein. Of course, it's also recommended that you reduce your consumption of refined foods and sugars to help with this process. And there's also one other key factor we'll talk about in just a minute. All right, so we keep saying the phrase, adequate amounts of protein and high protein diet, but what do those terms really mean? Well, let's start by understanding that the daily recommended intake of protein as outlined by the FDA isn't actually a number to aim for. 0.75 to 0.8 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight means the average 140 pound woman would need 47 to 48 grams of protein to meet that specific requirement. But the reality is that's just the amount of protein you should be eating at a bare minimum to avoid severe deficiencies. But there's a huge difference between eating the bare minimum amount and eating enough to be healthy 
let alone eating enough to support sustainable weight loss. For most women who are looking to lose weight and increase their longevity, getting at least 1.2 grams of protein in for every kilogram of body weight is fine. So that would be about 76 grams of protein per day for a 140 pound woman. But what's really going to help build lean muscle while you lose fat is to increase that amount of protein to essentially 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of ideal body weight, or 0.73 to 0.8 grams of protein per pound. Possibly even more if you're lifting weights on a regular basis, but 0.7 to 0.8 grams per protein has been shown to support muscle building. So if your ideal body weight is 140 pounds, you should aim for at least 102 grams of protein per day. And, you should also add in some resistance training to give that protein something to do. What does that mean? So longevity science has shown us that eating too much protein, specifically animal protein, might not be beneficial over time if we're not backing it up with other healthy lifestyle choices. But if we do have or adopt a generally healthy lifestyle and we add in more protein, it can be really great for us. So if we're not drinking and we're not smoking and we're getting in movement and exercise, and then adding in protein and even animal protein, this can be a great recipe for success. Being physically active is the biggest consideration, not only in weight loss, but also just in longevity in general. So combining resistance training and regular exercise with a higher protein diet is going to be key to losing excess weight and maintaining a healthy weight and importantly, maintaining muscle mass. So it's really important to not only not cut out protein when you're trying to lose weight, but to focus on getting in high quality protein, probably in higher amounts than you're used to, and pairing that with some resistance training to help build that lean muscle mass. Also remember to calculate your protein goals based on your ideal body weight, not your current body weight if you're trying to lose weight. So remember that's 0.73 or 0.8 times your ideal body weight in pounds or 1.6 times your ideal body weight in kilograms to get that number of the number of grams of protein you should be eating every day. Now let's go over some examples of what 102 grams of protein might look like in a day. I typically have coconut yogurt and berries for breakfast. So I like to bolster that meal by adding a couple of scoops of protein powder and some nuts and seeds. I personally use collagen peptides as my protein powder. Um, and so this ends up coming out to about 30 grams of protein. Alternatively, I sometimes have three eggs scrambled served in corn tortillas for breakfast tacos and that comes in at around 22 grams of protein. Having a big bowl or salad for lunch with quinoa and chicken breast or steak or something gets you another 20 or 20 plus grams of protein, so we're already halfway towards our goal. I also like to add in a smoothie made with berries, avocado, and some more almonds, plus protein powder, which makes it clock in at about 27 grams of protein. And for dinner, a go-to super quick and easy meal for me is ground meat, either beef, pork, or turkey, um, cooked and served in a baked sweet potato. So that ends up yielding another 25 to 30 grams of protein uh, with a 3.5 ounce serving of ground. And this totals about 107 grams of protein, which, which puts us right at, if not just a little bit over, our protein goals for the day. And if you're a vegetarian, bringing in more protein from eggs and legumes can be super helpful. And if you're pescatarian or like fish, that's also a really great source of easily digestible protein that's great for you. So to sum it up, yes, you should be eating protein for sustainable weight loss, aim for about 0.73 to 0.8 grams per pound or 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight. And remember to add in some resistance training to put that protein to work. Don't forget to check out the description below for more resources, including our daily habits calendar, where you can join us on the journey to build the right habits for better aging. We also have our Better Aging Basics course that you can look into. Um, we have our Real Age Quiz to help you assess how effective your current lifestyle habits are and to see how they may be impacting your overall health and your aging journey. If you found this information in this video helpful um, and you wanna learn more about supporting your overall health and the right habits for aging well, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified when we post a new video. Also, if you wouldn't mind, please give us a thumbs up, give us a like on this video, it helps us out a lot. So if you wouldn't mind giving us a thumbs up, share it with your friends, um, and thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.